right, friends, just noodling around here and having some fun. Uh, I thought I'd try this uh, Dano Caster Strat and uh, it's been sitting over there for a minute. Hey, I want to do, uh, obviously, this is freestyle and just having some fun here, so no extra charge for mistakes or anything. But um, I wanted to, uh, man, great article that came out unsolicited, by the way, by Music Radar on the, uh, the video that me and Book did. They were kind of going off about that. So always, you know, happy to be on the short list and all that stuff. So uh, about 15 people away from hitting 40,000 followers on Instagram. So thanks for that. Uh, man, I hope everybody's doing good, man. My, I'm going to tell you something right now. Um, my heart goes out to all the families that were just devastated by the horrific, tragic, uh, event in Texas on Tuesday, man, that's just unfathomable. And, um, man, you know, I can't imagine what that is like down there. And so, um, my heart goes out to those families. If anybody's, uh, from down there or has family down there, or even lives close to that area, my heart goes out to you guys, man. Um, just what a tragedy. Um, I'm going to show you now today. I want to show you, uh, I did a lesson earlier today. And by the way, I got to tell you, um, private lesson tiers and all that information. You can email bookings at guthreetrap.com for private lessons, uh, on zoom, uh, in person here in Nashville, if you're in town uh, or coming through town, and the Nashville Guitar Immersion Experience that uh, we're doing, I've had a bunch of people book those. Those are a lot of fun. That's a full, uh, full day or two or three days or as many days as you want of coming to Nashville, and we do a full day. We do uh, two hours of video guitar lessons uh, right here in my studio. Uh, we do breakfast. We do coffee. We do lunch. We tour uh, around Nashville. We go out at night. We meet a bunch of people, we go to hear a bunch of live music, we do the whole thing. And so that's a pretty awesome uh, thing. So um, check that out. Uh, but what, getting back to the guitar stuff, um, I was just messing around with some funk rhythm and just kind of going for it there, guys. So, you know, don't, don't, don't knock, don't, don't slay me too bad on here. But uh, anyway, um, there, I was showing a guy some stuff earlier on a lesson, um, just a uh, one lick that can kind of help you start navigating through playing over chord changes. Just a blue, just like a blues change, you know, G to C7 or C9, D, D9, D7, back to G. So uh, what I mean by that is like a C9 chord and a G7, a C7 chord. I'm gonna play the same thing over that, right? Outlining. Marking that third, like if I'm playing the blues, I'm, I can connect all this stuff to the chord shape it's coming out of. So again, just triads, chords all day long, but to unlock these secrets. So, uh, but my point is this lick. is targeting from the G, G7. So if I land here, from the F, I'm note leading up from the F to the major third of the next chord. So G7 is leading you to C, to the C chord. So the, the F note of G, pulling your ear to the major third of the next chord. So I want to target that to make it sound like I'm strongly changing chords. So if I go, that directly marks that C chord. Now if I go to, to D, I can do the same thing.
notch. If I go, I can do the same thing going from G to the D here. Anywhere there's a G, I can walk up to the major third of the D. to the C major, C uh, dominant third, ma major third, sorry, major third. Builds right into your mixolydian, or I call it the dominant seven scale, you know that already. major third. This is where my theory knowledge is a little shady here, but but it's that's the idea. If I was going to A That's real uh, note that's really going to mark the chord. Again, this stuff here too, where I'm really marking that nine chord. So Sets you right up 
for D, uh, for going back to the G. So D. Right back to your uh, C shape G chord. something out of that that's just kind of the way I'm looking at this uh, or those little you know you can use that same line over every chord right um, so uh, one more time place with, with trying to kind of figure out the best way to, to, to teach this but just if, if even if you just got this if you can start seeing how these little lines there's a great one right out of this So this is the kind of stuff that I like to teach because it, it's it's it, you can see it, you can hear it, and these are great little tricks to start being able to mark these chord changes and play over the changes better. Anyway, check out everything uh, uh, in the links below. Appreciate you guys. I'm heading to uh, New York tomorrow morning with Oates to do a couple gigs up in Connecticut, uh, and then I'll be back and getting back into the saddle this uh, summer. is a great time to do guitar immersion experiences zoom lessons don't forget about artist works i'm trying to share the knowledge that i've gained so far with you guys uh i hope you got something out of that video i know that uh you know some of my you know intricate theory knowledge is is not the the best but i don't want to sound like that you know if the more of that stuff you're thinking about the more you start uh thinking um you know one thing i will leave you with is if you're playing in the key of g Think the key of G. If you're playing in the key of C, think the key of G. Don't think that, like, uh, a lot of people subscribe to this, um, like, okay, if you're playing in G, that's really the five chord of C and all that stuff. That's going to leave you not sounding right. So please just try to simplify. And if you're playing in the key of G, think that you're playing in the key of G. You go to C, you play over the C chord, you go to D, you play over the D chord, and you resolve back to G. We're not superimposing all these other keys and all this crazy uh, stuff. So this is really how a, a lot of pros that I know are thinking about playing the guitar. Now that's not to be confused with what I'm talking about sometimes of layering in, you know, these different templates over these. Those are just little tricks to be able to play outside and things like that. So 
big difference there. But anyway, hey guys, thanks a bunch. I'm going to get on with it here. Uh, it's been raining in Nashville. Hope you guys are good and uh, stay safe out there. All right, see ya.